Hi, it's Gab, and I am reviewing The Expendables, the new action ensemble, throwback to the 80s, ragtag team, uh, going to fight for something, doing lots of fighting, rah-rah, uh, punch-up uh, film. I wish I was uh, doing this one with Dad. I'm sure he would have some choice quips for this one. It's not his kind of movie, I think it's safe to say, and I'm not the target demographic either. Uh, it's the 80s action throwback, like I said. Um, it's written and directed by Sylvester Stallone, starring Sylvester Stallone. You've also got um, Jason Statham, Jet Li, Mickey Rourke, uh, Randy Couture, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eric Roberts, uh, who am I leaving out? Other big tough guys, you know the type, and uh, you know they're kicking butt. Dolph Lundgren, that's right. If you're wondering where Steven Seagal and Jean-Claude Van Damme are, apparently they were asked to be in the film and declined. They had better things to do, supposedly. I don't know what. Um, so you've got this ensemble, and it's really impressive casting. I mean, seeing the trailers, you're just thinking, that's a pretty cool gathering. Oh, and um, cameos from Bruce Willis and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Total throwaway, um, just sort of put in there just to say that they have those guys in there, but not pertinent to the plot. Actually, the plot's not even pertinent either. Uh, they're basically mercenaries, uh, guns for hire, uh, soldiers of fortune, if you will, and um, they're hired for this job to go to this sort of, you know, South American country, overthrow a dictator. Uh, they're just in it for the cash. They decide the job's not for them, but of course, when they're scoping the situation out, uh, they come across a damsel in distress, and uh, Sylvester Stallone's character, his uh, conscience, compels him to go back to help this woman um, to save the last shred of his soul that hasn't turned black with cynicism for all that he's seen and done. You know, that old story. So that's basically when they go back and beat a lot of people up and blow up a lot of shit, and then that's that's the whole point. And that's fine. I'm, that's It is what it is. There's nothing wrong with that. It does want to relive those glory days of the, the 80s genre, and I think it does that. I mean, like I said, I'm not the target demographics, so I don't want to be too hard on it. Um, it was done uh, well, pretty good action, um, with a good sense of humor about it. The guys seemed like they were having fun, um, wasn't taking itself too seriously, and yet wasn't satirical. I kept thinking about the A-Team, and it was almost like how I thought the A-Team should have been, this this uh, summer's A-Team movie. Um, it wasn't trying so hard to be serious about not being serious, and uh, if you know what I mean. Um, it just was what it was, and I think that it did represent or bring back that old genre quite well. I mean, having Sylvester Stallone at the helm, uh, you can't really do much better than that. And, um, you know, it's fun if you like that sort of thing. It's not quite my cup of tea, but my uh, husband was uh, was laughing and clapping and, and right on, man, ing. Um, and uh, it did remind me of those kinds of those old movies that he talks about fondly and still watches on TV. And I just sort of sit there and compose my grocery list in my head uh, while I'm watching. Um, I mean, I did find it entertaining, but it was quite thin um, other than the action and um, some fun characters but the character development is non-existent um, pretty much and uh, I enjoyed the camaraderie when in the few the quiet moments that the guys are just sort of hanging out um, and I would have liked more of that but then it would have been you know like eat pray love the male version which is not the point um, so it was what it was and I think it did its job well and I think that the, the, the males will definitely like it, and I think that it'll sort of bridge generations. I think I can see dads taking their, their, their sons. I mean, Max is too young, but uh, depending on your age, uh, where you fall in the age range, um, I think that it can sort of cross the, uh, the age barriers, the different generations, and uh, be enjoyed on, in, in, the, in that way, and nothing more, but not my dad. It would not have been for my dad at all, so uh, luckily, He's not here, but I'm sorry you just have me. But what I also have for you is this month's uh, DVD giveaway. This month I picked uh, The Italian Job um, for no special reason other than, than you know, another sort of ragtag group of uh, 
sort of pseudo criminals um, with uh, various motives and characters thrown in there. And it does have Jason Statham in there, who I really like. Um, he was one of my favorites in this cast. Oh, I wanted to say I wanted more of Mickey Rourke. I love him. And he does he's not in any of the action scenes. He's the more cerebral of the group and has some of the deeper lines and sort of the more he's more of the guru of the group a, a little bit. Um, and he, he doesn't get in the action. I guess we, we got our uh, Mickey action in uh, Iron Man 2 this summer. And he has the same hair that he had in Iron Man too. Anyway, I digress. Uh, back to the Italian job. Uh, good cast. And starring, of course, Mark Wahlberg, who is in the current hit, The Other Guys. Check out my review of The Other Guys. So I guess that's why I picked up The Italian Job, and it's not a bad film. So if you'd like to win this DVD, you have to be a Gab and Dad subscriber, and I'll pick a winner from our subscribers by the end of August. I can't believe the summer's almost over. Um, I'll just try to keep bringing you uh, more reviews. Uh, I don't think Dad's going to be back un until the end of the summer, I'm sorry to say, but if you like me, like my reviews, like movies, uh, have nothing better to do, keep watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.